What's going on everybody? Brian Schiller from Paddle and Fin Podcast and Team New Canoe. Just wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough of the all new unlimited setup that I have here for 2021. guys so for the all new unlimited what's super unique and what all the other new canoe models were lacking was access ports to get into the hall for your wiring so starting up front we have an access panel right here um, so that way you can get into the hall if you're running a bow mount uh, trolling motor you can run all your wiring straight up to here you have two indentations on each side for power ports you have the rod tip protectors that comes on all the new canoe boats. What I did is I put uh, two LED strip nav lights in the front. So that way when I'm motoring either early in the morning before a tournament starts or late in the evening when I'm out here on my home lake, I can uh, turn these on, be totally legal. And it was super easy to do because of this access port here. Uh, moving back, the all new gear pod for 2021. This works hand in hand with the Unlimited, but it'll also work in the new canoe Flint. I've seen guys put it in the Pursuit, in the Frontier 12 as well, but this is super nice. So I got a through haul wiring port coming out with a Yak Power port. Um, and inside here, what I have is my 30 amp hour BioNO power battery. I throw my Pelican Ruck gate case in here. I got an extra sun shirt, some baits for when I'm out on the water. It's got a nice track mount system here right on the back. So if you wanted to put your fish finder here, I put a camera arm coming off uh, for running one of my GoPros. It's two thumb screws that holds this into these upper tracks here on each side. So you got a nice carrying handle. This is the same handle that's on the front of the boat. Um, but there's also two molded in handles on the bottom of that so you can just kind of carry it forward you know to and from the truck i leave this mounted inside the boat even when i'm on the road i've never had any issues with it coming loose or coming out or anything like that you got tons of gear track all throughout this boat you got the side rails going all the way through nice addition that new canoe did is put the upper side rails on the upper gunner wall gunnel walls makes it super nice for mounting things like an over the arm transducer and things like that got my touchscreen garmin 93 sv as you can see i try to keep the cords to a minimum so what i did another access port all my cords run down and sit in the hall come out of this port put a little marine goop on it so that way no water can get in there i also have another yak power port here so if I don't have my gear pod in, I can put my 30 amp hour battery under the seat, plug it in here, it'll plug or power all my uh, electronics, my lights and all that good stuff. I run a Minn Kota trolling motor. We'll get to the mount in the back, the all new mount from New Canoe for that. But basically I have my head here. I used to have it mounted on the, on the rail here. I gotta kind of figure something else out with that because the threaded insert on the inside of that came out. That's just an old Yak Attack camera arm. Got my catch board tethered to the side, pull it out, measure a fish, slide it right back in. Um, you'll notice here on both sides, I got Supernova lights. It's a blue color. I'll put up an image of this uh, in the evening when it's lit up, that's nice for early morning, retying, you'll be able to see things. I use the uh, Yak Attack tray um, they got two different sizes but this thing is super nice i keep a lot of my plastics in here terminal tackle um, die for my plastics things like that it just slides right in and out of this from underneath the seat uh, one thing that's crucial 
um, for me, because I trailer this boat, is the quick release seat mount because my boat won't fit on the bottom rung of my trailer. So there's a little tab underneath the seat here. You just push it down, seat slides out. Just mounts right on the swivel there. Got the Yak Gadget XD cup holder. Uh, super nice because it's got slots for your pliers, your scissors, all kinds of tools. I'll throw used baits in here at the end of the day, take it out. Um, what's super nice about these tracks is they're top load. So you don't have to slide this all the way out to one end. All you gotta do is loosen up, tilt it and it goes right out. Tilt any of your sex accessories right in. Screw down the thumb bolt and you're good to go. You got another access port here. These two switches power my lights. One is for the supernova lights underneath. One is for the nav lights up front. On the side here, you got the taco paddle clip handles. Those are super sturdy and nice. That was a big change to this boat compared to the other new canoes. Just because before it was like kind of a strap with a rubber handle on it. These are a lot more rigid, easier to uh, move around. Keep your paddle in there, pull it in and out. I never have to worry about it. The Millennium seat that they came out with last year, uh, it is 360 degree swivel. Got a kayak cushion on there, makes it super comfortable for those long days on the water. Right behind my seat, I run a BioNO Power 100 amp hour battery to power my trolling motor. Uh, this is specifically for my motor. Fits in there nice and snug, and then it spaces my Yak Attack XD crate back a little bit. So that way when I'm sitting in the seat, I can get to it. It's not too close to the back of the seat. Uh, so that is super nice. Going to the XD crate, I love this thing. I've had this for two years now. You can run a ton of tackle in here. I've had 730, 700 boxes in here. Obviously I'm running a little light. I got some plastic stuffed in there right now. Uh, for the fishing we're gonna be doing today. One thing I did do is I drilled an extra hole back here, put a zip tie on there, so that way I don't lose my cover. I know they have since changed the design, so there's already a hole pre-drilled in there, so that way you could run the bungee through, so that way you're not worrying about this if you forget to latch it when you're out on the water. The crate itself comes with six rod holders. I added two, uh, which is super nice. What some guys will do is take these two side ones or the side ones and kind of angle them so that way your rods are pitched back, especially for those river guys that are worried about low lying trees. You got an access port here. Again, going back to all the through haul wiring access that you have. This is just a simple spin open. This is water tight. I've never had any issues with water getting into my hull. I got a power port here that goes up to the front that runs um, the speed controller for this motor. This is the nicest thing about this boat is this back handle. Folds up, super rigid compared to the old rope with a T handle. This just makes carrying this boat, lifting it so much easier. Folds down out of the way. It never flops around. Super, super nice. So this is the all new EPS motor mount from New Canoe. This works great for torpedoes. Uh, also, obviously I'm running a 50 pound thrust Minn Kota trolling motor. The shaft mounts right in this bracket back here. You got a steering cable that runs up to a steering handle to the left of the seat. This mounts by one pin. Pull this one pin, pull the motor up, comes right off. Mounting it, just drop it down. You gotta line up the holes. Put the pin in, drop it down, and it locks. This is a rope for a quick release. So that way if you uh, coming in, you can pull that up. Uh, typically I have a rope run up to the front, but where we're fishing today, I don't necessarily need it just because it's nice and shallow here by the launch. I can jump out of the boat. This motor does break away if you hit a log, a stump, a rock. You hit something, this will pop up so that way it's not breaking the shaft or your mount. Um, so very well thought out by New Canoe. 
just a, an optimal accessory. Obviously, you could see, we talked about the bow mount, motor mount, the Torquedo in the back, uh, the EPS system. Super nice that you have so many motor rigging options on this boat. The number one thing I love about this boat is the stability. I can walk this whole deck. I don't feel like I'm gonna tip, fall out, fall over, anything like that. You know, a lot of people have asked since this has come out, like what's the stability like? Because the width is the same as the Frontier 12. If you've been in the Frontier 12, it's a super stable boat, but it didn't paddle that well. Well, now with the all-new Unlimited, the way they designed the hull, it paddles much better, but you still have that same stability. I've been able to stand here on the deck and kind of spin around and hit all these spots that I'm fishing 360 degrees because I can spin around in the boat and I feel totally comfortable. Obviously, I'm super tall. I'm not that light on my feet. 6'4", 250 pounds. And, and just moving around in this boat has not been an issue at all for me. Super key, what I would recommend is getting your local dealer, doing a demo day, testing it out yourself, see how you like it. If not, reach out to one of the Team New Canoe members that has one and they'd be more than happy to get you set up and get you out there on the water for your next fishing adventure.